Everybody, this is TJ, yes, and welcome to the channel that will never stop until I'm, like, probably 30. But I'm here teaching you how to drift. Now, a subscriber told me that he couldn't drift. I'm not teaching you in this, because you guys have not shown that you deserve a Ferrari on the channel. Which is a shame. But I'm teaching you how to drift, tune, build everything on my channel right now. Mainly because I'm a nice guy. I'm here to teach you guys stuff. Actually, I need to move a little bit over so I can see my TV. Seriously, you need to get that Elgato gaming card. Oh, this feels weird. Don't want to upgrade the engine till now. Now, I don't know exactly, I just start getting into drift tunes. But you want one with most torque. Because you need power around the turns. You want to keep it rear wheel drive. Probably slap a twin in. Because there's nothing like twins. Don't quote me on that. Now, I want to say you want, you don't want the tires to be grippy. So, I'm going to go with street tires. I think you want to widen them. All of them. And as I said, I'm still pretty new to this. I didn't start getting into drift tunes till like, the summer. Now, rims don't even care. But, I think I'm going to go with these. Because they actually pretty much match it. But yeah, I am no longer associating myself with the channel King BWW. And those who watch me who are subscribed, please get off my channel. I'm tired of the comments. I'm tired of you guys being assholes. I try to go to school, okay? You guys are sitting here commenting when I'm trying to actually learn. So I can go to college. So I can get a good job. So I can live a very comfortable life. Because I live... Yeah, you guys don't want to look at Just, if you want to listen to me, listen to me. If not, turn off your volume till I start tuning. But, ooh. I just saw the RPM up in the hood. But if you guys seriously want to do that, just talk crap about me on his channel. Okay? So at least I can get the schooling so I can get out of this hellhole called Hedgesville. I hate this place. I've always hated this place. Hate the school. I... Everything about it. There's so many hicks. Oh my gosh. I can't even go a day here without seeing a hick. Like, my neighbors are hicks. My friends are hicks. They're not really friends. Just people I talk to. Yeah, I added everything in. But please get off my channel. Am I going to lose a few subscribers? Yes. Do I care? No. Because I know, as soon as I get that Elgato Gaming, my quality, the capture card, my quality to, is going to shoot up. And my subscribers are going to shoot up. Because I'm going to get new games. I'm going to turn on ads. Which, yes, this sounds a little greedy. But so I can get money. I have no food at my house. I am starving. I don't know when I'll be, when my dad gets paid. So I don't know when we can get food. But I'm starving. I, I don't even have breakfast in the morning. Okay. Now since we're, with all that done. Time for the tuning. 
Now you want as little traction as possible. I've learned that 28.5 is pretty good. I'm still working around it. Now, the gearing really doesn't matter. You can put it all to speed or acceleration. Not all of it, just enough. Don't leave it right there. You want to go two on the front and 1.5 in the rear. Uh, I think that's it for that. I don't think you want to do anything with the anti roll roll bars. You want to lower it some more. Come over to the diff. Now let's say you have um, aerodynamics. Let's say you have it in the rear. You want to put it down to cornering so it's on downforce. Because it'll help the rear end slide. Or speed. Oh no, I'm still working out a few kinks. I think it's all good. Now let's get a good like... I was about to say let's get a good drifter pan on. You see all that smoke? That's because it's got all the power coming out on those rear wheels. Rear wheels. Which is going to cause it to slide. Now if I can't get this thing to go sideways on turns, I'm pulling out my Maloo. My HSV Maloo. I love that car. <laughs> if I move out of the US, I'm moving to freaking Australia just for the HSV Maloo. Ooh. Let's see if we can get something nice up here. Uh can we bring the blue out some more? Um Actually, let's switch around colors. That actually looks pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So, I think I'm just don't go for the carbon fiber. <laughs> I'm gonna tint the windows. Well, I'm just gonna black this thing out. There we go. Now you guys know how to black out a uh, AMC Rebel. Now, before I get out of here, well, out of the shop, um, I gotta edit it all out because there's music playing, so I can get screwed for copyright. So. Okay, so I was testing this car out. I put it on racing tires because it didn't seem right, seem to feel right, and I retuned it. Instead of fully locking the diff, I just uh just went down to ninety. But I want to say the reason why it doesn't want to slide is because how heavy it is. So I am going to go switch to the Malu and show you guys how to drift because this thing is not drifting. I have no idea what it's doing but it's not drifting. It's actually kind of being annoying. I never had a car rev, rev up that high without shifting especially on automatic oh yeah now since everything's done um oh and for everybody's information if you know Bagani they have an official uh, Instagram account, and I uploaded a picture of the Hira, Hirara BC, and guess what, they gave it a like, they hit the like button on one of my pictures, 
a 3.6 million subscribed follower account. Actually, I think it's higher than that. I don't remember. I just remember it was Pagani. But this is one of my dream cars. Right here. HSV Malu. One reason why I want to move to Australia. And look at that rear end slide. And look how clean this interior is. Like, you can just feel that rear end slip out beneath you. Mmm. Feels immaculate. I hope I'm using the word right. And, see, we just got a drift tap. Now, this isn't as good as my Torino. My one drifting baby. But it's pretty good. And I know there's a new DLC pack out. But. And I. Actually I might be getting it this. Weekend. But I won't be doing videos on it till probably Monday. Or Sunday. I don't know. It all depends. Because. Whenever I go somewhere. I usually go a place where. I have to bring my TV. And being that I have a bigger TV now, I have to use my old TV. So if I were to record, you guys would get nothing but waves. I should actually go somewhere where there's a drift zone. And now, drift zone that I'm going to be going to, I've been having problems with. Mainly because I thought that was breakable. Why would you put a non-breakable tree in the middle of the road? I want to look so cool by breaking a tree in half with my ute. And now, I've paid attention to what Australians call utes over here. And they call, like, the Ford Raptor a ute. So, and looking at it, yeah. We pretty much have utes over here, but they're different names. We call them pickup trucks. That was my worst attempt at a country accent. Just. Just because. Oh no. I think I put down too much. Now before we get into this. I want to show you guys. The telementary. Or telementary. Telementary. Alright, so, here you can see the steering, you can see how much I rev up to, torque that comes in and the boost from the turbo, you can see how much throttle I'm putting in, how much brake, how much e-brake, I don't know why it doesn't show, and you can also show my see my speed. This Mini Cooper wasn't breaking. Now I don't know how much drift points. It's kind of hard to pay attention to driving when you got this on screen. Why are... Okay. Small little complaint. Why are there so many civilian cars? I know I did absolutely horrible on that. But the trick into drifting is, yes, you need the e-brake, but don't go full camber, alright? Because I have a subscriber who did that, and he said he can't drift. I'm like, did you put full camber on it? He's like, yes. Yeah. I used to thought that that would do the trick, but it doesn't doesn't help at all if anything it makes it worse and the only thing that you can do well is if you slap all-wheel drive on it and you just go to an empty lot slam on the gas keep your joystick to the left or the right and you'll just keep going in circles 
Now the reason why I came here is to come up here. This is the absolute way to test your drifting. And see if you can land well. Actually, this is where I'm doing the video at. This is where I'm going to start the next video. Which I can't record after this. Because I'll have space on my phone. Because all the comments I have screenshotted. All the hate comments I have screenshotted. And if I have any more problems, I'm going straight to the principal at school. So I know who you all are. I know who you are, Nicole. I forget your last name, but it's familiar. Seriously. I just don't want any associate. Oh my gosh. And he lands it. Give it to the Malu. I hope you're giving a round of applause to the Malu. You better be giving a round of applause. Because that wasn't to me. That was all because of my Malou. And if you have it all tuned right, you should be able to do a burnout like that. Well, thank you all for watching. And remember, if you're a King BWW supporter, please get off my channel. I'm not even down curse you out. I'm saying please get off my channel. You are not wanted let alone needed here. Your work has been done. You have failed in your mission at trying to kick me off YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube because someone who has no balls can't come up to me. So, we'll see all you in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I forgot about the fourth thing. And I will see all you guys next video. Oh my gosh, I'm so crazy.